Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be part of a, a series that we're going to kind of put on and contribute to over time um, called Welcome to the Wards. Uh, so this is going to be a, a video that is kind of targeting um, those who are uh, just getting involved with or needed a refresher on some of the the day-to-day -day of uh, working in the hospital wards, whether it be the emergency department, uh, surgical floors, internal medicine floors, intensive care units, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so this video specifically will be talking about fishbone diagramming labs. So what does that mean? For those of you who have worked in the wards already or have had some exposure there, you might uh, recognize these things. This is the way in which we kind of uh, abbreviate and shorthand lab values on, you know, what might be a printed out sheet of paper with all of the patients for the day and things like that. Um, it helps keep labs organized. It is somewhat of a universal language among healthcare providers, um, and it kind of is specifically in regards to six different um, labs. So one is the CBC. This is the complete blood count. The other one is the basic metabolic panel um, with an added on magnesium and phosphorus. Other one is liver function tests. Um, liver function tests combined with the basic metabolic panel is called a Comprehensive Metabolic Panel, or CMP. Also, Arterial Blood Gas, or Venous Blood Gas. And then a Coagulation Profile, or COEGS. So, all of these things are very common labs that we order. And on many patients, we trend them daily or multiple times per day, um, depending on what the patient is there for. So it's important to know how to shorthand them when you're writing them down to save space, maintain organization, and kind of communicate between providers. So the first one we're going to talk about is the BMP, or the basic metabolic, I call it panel, um, I think profile, might be the <laughs> proper P, but I call it basic metabolic panel. Um, the shorthand for this is structured as such. So you have six boxes kind of aligned and then this diagonal side box. So here on the top left we have the sodium, bottom left we have the potassium, chloride, bicarb, BUN, creatinine, and glucose. So these are the six values that are included in the basic metabolic panel um, seven and the fishbone diagram as such. So um, there's mnemonics that people come up with in terms of organization. Um, I feel like they almost get more confusing rather than helpful, but just re repetition. And usually, you know, when I first started out, I would write this um, just on kind of the top of my patient list for the day. And that way I had it with me. Um, but after a while, it just really becomes second nature. Um, as an adjunct to that, there's this second diagram. And this one has magnesium phosphorus, and calcium. All right. So when I come in for the day and I'm reviewing labs on every single, you know, under almost every single patient, I will draw this out. You know, it'll be patient, you know, Jay Smith will have their chief complaint and stuff, and then we'll have lab work. And it'll be, you know, as simple as this, 136, 4.1, 109, you know, 22, 12, 0.23, 134, you know, sodium, potassium, chloride, bicarb, BUN, creatinine, glucose. And that is much easier than writing out the individual symbols and trying to keep it all organized. Okay, so next one, complete blood count or CBC. So complete blood count. This is another lab that is ordered quite frequently often trended daily or um, even multiple times per day. And the fishbone diagram for that this looks as such. It's an X. And you have the WBC count, the hemoglobin, all right, the platelet count, and the hematocrit. All right. So you have those four surroundings. So um, this is another one that'll be written down. And kind of at the end, I'll kind of show how I organize each one when I'm going through my patients for the day. All right, the next one we kind of talked about up there was LFTs or liver function tests. And this fishbone is similar to the basic metabolic panel. Um, I usually do it vertical just so I don't get the two of them mixed up. And it has an extra box. You have one, two, three. So you have 
eight and an extra. And this has the calcium, which I always thought was a little odd to be with the liver function test, but nonetheless, um, then you have the AST, aspirin aminotransferase, ALT, alanine aminotransferase. You have protein levels, albumin levels, alkaline phosphatase, and then I actually drew this a little too far down. And then here you have the bilirubin. So I'm going to erase this small part because it's just going to make it more confusing. Um, and then here you have the bilirubin. Okay, so that is liver function test plus calcium. Another one we talked about was coagulation profile or coags. And this one is another triangle like that. And what you have is the PT, right, prothrombin time, PTT, and then the INR, the international normalized ratio. All right. And then the last one is going to be the arterial blood gas and venous blood gas. So ABG and VBG. And this one, let me mute my computer here, is written out as pH, PCO2, PO2, and bicarb. All right. So for me, you know, when I see a patient in the morning, again, it'll be Jay Smith. It'll have their room number, their MRN, their information, and then my sheet, depending on what labs I have, will have the basic metabolic panel, the complete blood count, magnesium, phosphorus, calcium. I usually put coags near the complete blood count, and I'll label all these sodium, potassium, chloride, bicarb, BUN, creatinine, glucose, WBC, hemoglobin, platelets, hematocrit, magnesium, phosphorus, calcium, PT, PTT, INR, and then pH, PCO2, PO2, bicarb in the blood gas, and then the last one is going to be Calcium, AST, ALT, protein, albumin, alk -phos, and bilirubin. All right, so those are kind of the shorthands that you will see consistently on papers. A lot of times the sign-outs, if it's printed with the labs included already, will already have this kind of structure um, written in the sign-out with those different labs. So it's important to know when you're first getting used to it, just write it on the top of your paper, um, and that way you can reflect on it kind of as you go through the day. All right, hope that was helpful. Let us know what questions, comments, concerns you have down below. Feel free to hit subscribe and follow along. We've been doing a lot of COVID content lately, but at some point we're going to transition back into, um, you know, general solid medical education content. So uh, we'll see you all next time.